Hi, Hiram here. I got a question from Matt, a.k.a. MPB Chapman, where Matt asked, uh, do you know if the M71 stove will fit in fit on the Trangia, and will it nest for storage? Also, do you know if the Trangia will nest inside the Stanley Cook set? I would like to carry the GSI cup with the Stanley Cook set nested inside of it, and the Trangia nested inside of everything. Uh, if it will work, maybe that would make a nice compact setup. So I thought I'd go over that today. This is what Matt means by the M71. This is a um, a burner, I guess you'd call it, from Norway or somewhere. I forget exactly where. I did a review on this before. It's a gel fuel stove. It has a uh, gel fuel locked up inside this, but it also comes with a nice stand nested on the bottom of this. So what you do with it is you open this up. The stand goes right on top in a groove on the top of the can. And it forms a nice little uh, gel fuel burner. And I'd said keep this thing once you burned it out because you can use it for all kinds of stuff. It's a nice stand. Uh, matter of fact, it looks like some people are copying it and making these stands for the sterno type burners. But anyway, the question was from Matt, will this fit on the Trangia? I know I'm saying that wrong, but sorry, that's the way I say Trangia. It will. Fits on the bottom. It's rather loose, but it will fit there. But it doesn't fit snug down on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. But it will fit there. Now the thing is, on this... The stand is meant to made to be snug against the can. Then it has this lip on the bottom, which is what actually holds it in place. This thing comes down and sets on the lip. So we don't have that with the Trangia, but it will fit in just like so. The problem that comes in is if you try to use it use the M71 as a pot stand on top of the Trangia, it fits on the bottom, but it just barely fits on the top. It's so large. Uh, I'll have some closer pictures in my blog. If you give me a little bit of time after this video, I'll get it in there. I'll leave a link down below. But you can see that it fits on there just barely. So you could use it this way. What I would suggest, though, is taking these three legs and trimming them down like so. Now, I won't do it with this because I only have this one. But if you took them and trimmed them down so, maybe a little bit shorter, but just kind of round it off like that, cut these three parts off, leaving this little edge, that way it could snug up against the Trangia burner. You know, it would fit on this way, but be snug. And then you wouldn't have to worry about it possibly falling off. And you have all of the openings and everything. Your pot would sit on there. So that's what I would suggest. Not using it this way, because you've got to be real careful with it, but rather trimming these three legs down and using it upside down like that. So it will work. Now as far as fitting inside the Stanley Cook set, you've seen this before. I've done a review on this. It's a cool little uh, kit. I mean, it's a nice pot. The uh, comes with two plastic cups, which I always leave behind. But it's got a nice, nice, solid, fairly big pot. So you could use that. Yeah, do it like that. And that on top like that, so it works. As far as nesting, yes, no problem at all with it fitting in there. Lots of room. As always, I suggest you put this kind of, if you put your burner inside the pot that you do water with, always put this in a plastic bag. Seal this up in a plastic bag before you put it inside something where it's going to actually be drinking water. Then as far as the GSI cup, yeah, that fits on there pretty nice. And you could also add a lid for the GSI cup. Just put it on the bottom like that, and you can stick it in any kind of a bag that you want to do with. So 
then you'd have another cup with a lid. You know, you've seen these before. You just save these. I save all my cans, and I, I'm always putting them on top of things to see what fits on what. So you'd have a nice little pot, covered pot there. Now, if you didn't want to, if you wanted the Trangia, but you don't have a M71 stove, what you could do is use the nail stand. I did this a long time ago. It's just three nails forming a tripod in your Trangia, just like so. Other people have done this, too. It's a pretty easy thing. And it's a little touchy because the bottom of the uh, Stanley pot, unfortunately, is kind of tapered. That's the one thing I wish they had changed with this. I wish it had been a flat tube. But you can get it to set on there like so. The other pot, or the other cup, the GSI, is a little bit bigger, so it fits up. Yeah, it usually fits on there better. So if you were, you know, at a real dire need for a pot stand, you could use three 16 penny nails. These are 16 penny, three and a half inches long. They make a, a handy little pot stand. Uh, let's see, quick here. Oh, the other thing you could do if you had one of these Alox pots, uh, Trangia pot stands. Now I knocked, there was a, uh, where they made this cut here, they bent it in so that it would keep the Trangia pretty much in the center. I knocked that out. I mean, I can put this in the center. I don't need a form there. So then with this, what was I going to say? Oh, so this could be a, you could have this. It could be a stand like so. Now it fits on the GSI just barely, but you could use that as a pot stand. Unfortunately, the Stanley doesn't fit. It slides right through, which is why I had the grooves in here. I used nails or wires going across like so. And then you can put your pots on like that. But if you're carrying the nails, you could just use them on the Trangia. But what I was trying to say here is the GSI cup would fit on this. And then when you went to store it, you could actually force it down in and store it like that. It'll scratch your cup up a little bit. But this is soft metal, so there's not a whole lot of problem with that. And you could do it that way then. Put your Trangia burner in a plastic bag with fuel in it. Put it in... Sorry, put it in the Stanley, put the lid on. Well, this thing has started to melt a little bit, so I'm going to have to pull that out someday. That's another problem with this. They put a plastic tab on there. And there you got the compact kit that Matt MPB Chapman was talking about. So all the stuff does fit in there. If you want to use or you have the M71, you could use it. All I suggest is maybe cutting off these tabs so that they fit sort of tight on the burner and keep it centered. Then you got a nice top here and it's about the one inch that you need. Actually it's a little short but there you go. So I hope, Matt, I hope that answers your questions. I thank you for your questions. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.